Hey adventurers, it is a lovely day in southeastern Missouri. Uh, the weather is about 50 degrees, so it's still kind of cold, but I'm hoping that we find a lot of great stuff. Let's get flipping. First herp of the day. Southern painted turtle. Uh, pretty easy to identify. That red stripe across the back is one of the key field marks. Um, but this one, it's really it's hard to see the, the relative size here, but it's um, smaller than my hand. Um, just in the water. Some more turtles, a mix of red headed sliders and southern painted turtles. Nice to see. Lots of lots of southern pain internals and a couple sliders uh, all throughout this sort of uh, swampy area. Nice to see. More southern pain internals. <sighs> ah! Nice big spotted salamander. Oh man! Amazing. Let's see. Anything else before we put it back? So this is a spotted salamander. Now the name should be pretty obvious on why it's called that. Um, it has these nice orange spots all over its body. Um, usually in these two rows that go by, down by the side. So, nice, really nice find. This is one of the larger salamanders out here uh, in the family Ambistoma, uh, which is a type of mole salamander, um, known for them sort of digging on the ground, but really a beauty. It's nice to see how the, the spots are a little bit orange on the head and then yellow on the, on the sides and the tail. All right, time to put you back. Go home. Aha, look at that. This is a smallmouth salamander. Very cool. Let me give you guys a closer look at it in a second. Here's a closer look at that smallmouth we just flipped. Uh, these guys are also in the same genus, Ambistomba, as the spotted salamander we saw earlier. Um, but they're all black and they have small heads, uh, hence the name smallmouth. Um, if you're up in the northeast, uh, the Jefferson's salamander is very, very similar to this. Time to put you back to where you came. Oh, there's a frog. There's a frog. And he's gone. There's another frog though. Um, you know, this frog is too small and too dark. I don't know what kind it is. Let's see if I'll pick it up and see. Is that frog we just slipped. Um, you know, I don't see any dorsolateral folds on it, so I'm thinking it's a bullfrog. But when they're this size, I have a, they don't always show all their field marks. You can, you can see there's a little bit of a remnants of a, of the tail that was there probably not too long ago, but nifty to see. You see it's got an interesting back or underside. All right, time to put this guy back. Oops. Let's see, I got him. 
right under here. All right, go back. Oh, here's something. Ha. We got a second smallmouth salamander here. Nice. Nice look. See the other underside? It's got these nice sort of speckled. Anyway, we will put him back right down here. Here we go, put the little red back salamander here. Check it out. Nice, orangey, a little small. You know, pretty easy to identify. Red back, red stripe. And you can see, um, one of the ways that I, you know, figure out what these things are is I use uh, the Schechter Natural History uh, Guide to Reptiles and Interventions. And uh, nifty little feature. Uh, that blue location icon there tells you that I'm only going to show you things that are in the area. And so you can see, um, for example, the lungless salamanders, uh, which this guy is, uh, there's really only two um, that are nearby. Uh, so helps it helps for identification. All right, time to put you back. Whoa, all right. Um, another red back here. There he goes. I'm not gonna reach him with all those ants, but nice to see. Another red back. We got a frog here. There it is, leopard frog. Let's see if I can. Look at that gold. Young leopard frog here. Really lovely. It's really cool how the um, those dorsolateral folds are just like gold at this point. Such a nice golden color. Very cool. And there he goes. Here's a little Blanchard's cricket frog, just jumping around. Uh, that dark triangle on the back there is an easy way to identify the cricket frog. Um, but he's not gonna stand, stand by very long, so uh, get your looks now. All right, let's let him take off. Be free. I don't know exactly what kind of wasp this is, but it is, it is big. Here's a nice um, overlook of where we are, what we're sort of walking through, hiking through. So, it's a really, really pretty area. My heart is racing. Hope you can see that. Two cottonmouths. The third one just slipped away. Almost stepped on them. 
Very cool to see. There it goes, giving me its display. I don't see the, the other one. snakes are highly venomous and so I'm just going to let it go back to its cave and I will be on my way as well. Alright, Tatiana just spotted those two snakes right there. Um, you can see it's, it's very, very white, it's slipping away and gone. Hey, thanks for joining me on this adventure. Here's that little leopard frog again. Please be sure to like and subscribe so you can see more videos like this. I'm Greg Schechter, and I'll see you in the field. Say goodbye, little frog. Goodbye.